So this is the part of the video series to install Kali if you have something to use as a target machine or an attack machine. Kali is open source, it's Debian based Linux. It's geared towards various information security tasks and it's got some advantages and disadvantages to it. There's a whole plethora of uh, security tools that come pre-installed. It's completely free and open source and you can contribute for its development. It supports many languages. It's great for those who are already using Linux and have their hands on uh, Linux commands. And it can easily be used with a Raspberry Pi. This is Vantage. It's not recommended for those who are new to Linux and want to learn it. It's a bit slower and there's some software malfunction. Now another piece that I'll put in there too is you don't want to use Kali as your everyday machine. Um, it's used for what we're, what we're going to be showing you here in a little bit. and. It's not exactly the most uh, secure environment for you to do your everyday tasks. There's actually a live version of this that you can install on a USB thumb drive, boot to it, do what you need to do, and then pull it out and be on your way. So we're logged into our ESXi. So I have two. I have my 121 and my 21 here. So we're going to be using this. Before you install any of your VMs, you're going to have to bring them up into the ISO ramp in the store, data storage here, so you actually have them to use. Click on storage, click on data stores. Again, look at how much capacity you have. I have everything on this available. So if I click on host, we have our capacity here. Go back in. Click on data store browser. And I've got some stuff not going on already. So some of these are VMs that are already there. Um, I'm going to click on ISOs. Actually, pen testing home for what we're doing, our attack machine, and then Cali. So it's already there. If it's not, just click upload, find your file, and click OK. It'll start doing its business. You'll get a thing down here at the bottom that shows you. So let me just I'll grab another one of them real quick so you can see like a test of it. So I'll do, let's do Fox Monks. You got your percentage up here, you can click close, and you have a recent task on here to tell you where it's going. So if I click back on post, I'm going around this this area kind of always stays there for you. Once you've got what you need to be uploaded, you can go ahead and click on virtual machines, create register VM, give it a name, and create virtual machine. If you have an OVA file, you can do that. But for our purposes, we're using all ISOs. It's the same process all the way through. So create a new virtual machine, just give it a name. Call it Kali Linux operating version. Now this is where that piece of knowing where what type it is comes into play. Remember, Linux is not an operating system. Linux is a kernel. So we're going to click Debian Linux. I want to use a 64-bit version. Tells us where it's getting from. And I usually like to go for and I try and give them about 10 gig. So that way it'll install quicker. If we want to later on, we can step this back down. But I try and give everything about 10 and about 100 gigs to start off with. Next, you want to come down here, click on your CD DVD drive, click on data ISO file, and select it. So where you just installed it from, or uploaded it to, select it, and click next. It just tells you what's going on with it. Click finish. Shows you down here. So we're going to go ahead and click that and power on. Click it, and then we start going through the, the install for it. I'm going to do graphical. I find the other one's a little quicker, but it's not as um, easy for you to see what's going on with this portion. So, English, United States, American English. Detecting what's going on. Comment it running through. It's attempting to pull the HCP IP address. It's succeeded. Host name, I'm just going to call this Cali. Click continue. 
domain, it's not on domain. Do your network, do your user, I'm just gonna call it myself. Notice it's all lowercase. Everything in Linux is important. If it's uppercase and lowercase, it could be the same area, but it's two it sees it as two different things. Yep, that's my username. Put a password in for it. Clock. I'm using time zone. I'm actually going to use the entire disk just to make this easy. All files, one partition, commit to changes. I'm just going to add off. I want to change those changes to disk. And it's off doing what it needs to do. Alright, at this point it took it about two minutes. So this is just showing what tools are currently going to be installed over the different desktop environments. I'm just going to go ahead and leave this as it is and click continue. This part can take a few minutes as there is 2,000 files for it to retrieve and pull in. Alright, if it finally installs everything going through, it asks you about the grub boot bootloader. So we don't have any secondary operating systems that are going to be installed. So we're just going to leave it yes and click continue. We're going to click Dev SDA. This is the the only hard drive that's installed um, for this device. We'll finish up the installation, and then it's going to do a restart. Now I'm going to go through and just click continue to reboot. It's uh, fully installed. Hit enter. Using a password from earlier that we put in. And there we go. Kali is installed. We have our different windows up here. Uh, one of the things I like to make sure is check the time. It, it did grab it um, as we told us to do Eastern Standard Time. Um, go in and do your update. So as soon as you, one of the first things I always do to any Linux operating system, sudo get fget update and and sudo fget upgrade. Create your password. And it goes through and start to do it. This will also tell you if it's having any issues with networking. And since it's grabbing everything down, it's doing it. 18 gigs or 18 megs of data is going to be pulled in. Other than that, you should be good to go. So we'll, we'll click on the Cali button here. And all your different areas that you can do stuff in. That's where I was going back to talking about how you have a lot of different tools in here, like information gathering. Put that down. There's three more tools used for DNS analysis. There's a couple more tools for IDS, IPS identification. And if we've got OSINT, you have three more tools there to use for OSINT. There's a lot of different things for you to, to come in here and, and learn to use. One I use quite a bit on the Windows side, it's just like Nmap. All I want to do is called Zenmap. Uh, you can scan the network and it'll tell you what, what's going on with it. Well, it's attached. So.
just as an example. Now it's come through and told us that all of these ones are down. There's a few that are up, so. One twenty one's up. How does this one we're using? One fifty nine's up. D seven's up. D five's up. And when this is done unpacking, that'll be the uh, conclusion to installing Kali Linux for our pen testing environment. And then one final thing. If you don't want to use the JCP's IP address for this, let's just open up another terminal window here. Type H config is going to give us the IP address for this box. Now if you wanted a different one, let's say you wanted it to be a dot sixty, because as you when we went through in that, let's say that was open. Right click on your little icon, for you. make sure you right click on it, go to edit connections, click on wired connection 1, click on your settings button down here, IP version 4, and then you can change this. Uh, manual, type your information in down here, and upon restart you should have that be your IP address for this system. I'm not going to do so at this time, but it is an option to make it to where um, as you're making your environment, you know what machine is what. I would definitely make sure that we do that as we're going through the the, the, the target machines, but not so much um, when it comes to doing it on the attack boxes. So this is just finished going through what it's doing, and this is the end of the installation for Kali Linux with this pen penetration testing homelet. See you in the next video.